Okay, number one, I have stayed in a $400 a night hotel that had popcorn on the ceilings, okay? So <laughs> clearly, it's not that big of an issue. Secondly, when this house is done, this house will be staged. And I can almost guarantee you that the person who buys it will not even notice it has popcorn ceilings until a week after they bought the house, okay? When we walk into houses in general, now you noticed it, obviously, if you're really pinpointing, but a lot of times why people notice it is while we're standing here, there is nothing to look at. And so when you, there's nothing to look at, your eyes go out, okay? So while we're standing here, we go, right? When the house is staged and there's furniture and there's pictures and there's stuff, your eyes stay right here. You're doing this, okay? Maybe not yours, you've been doing real estate for a long time and you hate popcorn. 99.9% .9 of our, I have never had a house not sell or not sell at top dollar or not sell at my comps because it had popcorn. Now, if I have the choice, if we have to repair the house, repair the ceiling, and I gotta go in and, you know, like if we, we go Mike's journey and he says, we're gonna cut this wall out, we wanna open up the house. The problem is we have a small kitchen and as soon as you cut that wall in half, you lose all those top cabinets, and now you take a small kitchen and make it even smaller. Okay, so there's a lot of reasons why I would not do it on this house. Some houses, maybe you would. If you cut that top out so you open it up, people can see out here, that's fine. Problem is now you've got this big gap here, you gotta try. So if I have to scrape the ceilings, I'm not going back with popcorn. Okay, let's be clear, I don't love popcorn. But if it's there, it's staying there. Okay, right. we are not going to create a monster mess and come in here and scrape ceilings up. And again, if you can do it yourself, that's out, right? Or you're doing a lot of the work yourself. It's really not a difficult process. And on the house on Dogwood, I don't know if any of you guys walked through the house on Dogwood. Did you go through yeah, that? Yeah. The house on Dogwood that I flipped last year, where we were, we lived in that house while we fixed it up because it was when the market was booming and I couldn't find any contractors and the ones that I found. Uh, were way you know too expensive and I had gone into the house with a 240 ARV So when I started hiring contractors and they were double I thought I'll lose money if I sell this at 240 and so I fixed it up myself And didn't really calculate the fact that the market was going up so high and so I ended up selling it for 330 Nice. When my initial ARV was 240. So I could have paid the contractors to do it. But at the time I didn't know that so I'm like at 240 There's no way I can pay these prices. So I so I did it myself stuff I had never done in my life, lived on YouTube, and when I, for the first time, I sprayed that ceiling with water, and took a scraper, and went, and all just came off so easy, I went, why have I been paying people for this? I'm paying $3,000 for I did this in five minutes, right? And so, I understand why Matt would do it, right? Um, but I live five hours from here, so I don't do work on houses anymore. Like that was a one time in 20 year deal and it had to do with the market and a lot of factors. If I can avoid it, I don't want to do work on houses. I want to go find houses. I want to run my other businesses. I want to run my RV park and I want to teach at the Bible school that I work for. I don't want to scrape ceilings. Okay? If you want to, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying I don't. Right? So it just depends on the person. So I don't mind them. I've never had it affect value. Um, obviously, if we're talking about million dollar homes, different story. Right? This property we're gonna sell for what 260, 270. This is 260, 270 used to be like a mid-range or get this is like cheapest house hardly you can find in Pensacola. And so they're not real picky, right? And so it really just depends a lot too on price point and other factors. But in this price point, any entry level price point, I don't you may have a different experience. I've never had it been any kind of an issue or a deal breaker.